that's for sure. Uh, we are uh, done with the widespread rainfall. In right. fact, that seven day forecast is quite dry. Yeah. We still have a couple of clouds and showers to get through this morning, though, in Narragansett. It's been overcast and damp during the nighttime hours. Most of those showers now have shifted to the east. So between Fall River and New Bedford, windshield wipers still on. You're finding that as you travel up through the Cape Cod Canal and over any bridges there. Looking uh, over eastern Connecticut, a couple of very light showers still showing up near Willimantic. Those will be uh, pushing out as the morning goes, and that dry stretch begins, leading our weather headlines. It's also a nice stretch ahead with warm days and comfortable nights, and then we will see that heat building again by early next week. It'll turn humid. The temperatures back up close to 90 degrees. Dew points next few days very comfortable though for July standards. In fact, hovering right around the upper 50s to lower 60s, which you'll find I think to be quite manageable and comfortable heat. Um, conditions. Looking outside right now, we're in the lower to mid 60s in Providence, 64, 62 in New Bedford, westerly, a little warmer at 67. Clouds will give way to brighter skies, sunshine as we head into the midday hours with those temperatures climbing up to about 76 degrees. And that threat of showers quickly coming to an end this morning as this last little wave of low pressure travels along our cold front. The front's continuing to push to the east as high pressure builds in. This is the back edge of the cloud cover, so we're going to start off the day with cloudy skies and then give way to brighter conditions. Sunshine will be more prevalent in the afternoon. In fact, this is showing that clouds moving out as we head into the late morning, early afternoon hours. Notice a mix of sun and clouds at three o'clock in the afternoon, but dry conditions expected into the evening and nighttime hours and we'll wake up to clear conditions tomorrow morning and hold on to that sunshine all day long. As far as this afternoon goes, it's looking comfortable. Outside activities a go. The temperatures along the coastline running in the middle 70s, bit of a sea breeze developing late in the day, upper 70s to near 80 degrees in Woonsocket and Johnston. It'll be warmer than yesterday when we hit highs of about 71, 79 in Burrowville in the afternoon, upper 70s, Attleboro and Seekonk. These temperatures are still just a little bit cooler than normal. Easterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour will take on more of a southeast direction late in the day. If you're headed to the beach, just give it a couple of hours this morning for those clouds to clear out. We'll see some sun in the afternoon and improving conditions on the bay too with those northeast winds turning east at 5 to 15 knots wave heights around 2 to 3 feet high tides at about quarter to 2 this afternoon and low tide at a quarter to 7 this morning evening looks good for outdoor activities starting off in the mid 70s another windows open kind of night for you partly cloudy skies to start then clearing it'll be comfortable cool with a light and variable wind seven day forecast a warming trend will go from 80 today to 83 for your high temperature tomorrow. A mostly sunny sky expected. Dry conditions for the evening and night. Friday's high in the middle 80s and the upcoming weekend looking warm and dry. Again, the temperatures will be climbing up. Humidity a little bit more noticeable by Sunday, but we're back to more of an uncomfortable heat by early next week. Your full forecast.